Welcome to ProStitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I'd like to show you how to do text in a circle. It's actually easier than you think. To start with, let's open a new design page. Just a reminder, go to the Home tab and select New to open a new design page to begin designing on. Next, let's select the Tools tab. We'll select the Text tool next. And you can see that my little cursor has an A next to it. I'll just click on the screen to drop some text. Over here in the top window of the sidebar, the top properties window, in this window right here, I'm going to select my text and change it so that it says something out. How about if we put in Pro Stitcher Designer? I want kind of a longer word to play with and I have that typed in, check my spelling, it looks good. We'll, we'll scroll down and click on apply. I now have Pro Stitcher Designer here. Let's choose from this box right here. I'm gonna come and make my sidebar a little wider. I can choose here from align, center, left, right, and center, and then the type normal. If I click here, I can choose circle and watch what will happen. And click Apply. It's going to put my design in a circle. There's another way to do that also. You don't have to do it over here in the box. If I click Undo, I can do a right click. And right here, I can choose Circle. And once again, it'll put my design in a circle. It's fun to play with a design once it's in a circle. We actually have some different options to play with here. You'll notice that I've got gold circles. If I click on those, I can actually extend my design out. And the green one allows me to change my circle into more of an oval on, in either direction. Kind of fun to play with. My, uh, the blue boxes work just like they do with normal text. I can click on this and it will split my word apart on whichever one of those I click on. And then the black boxes that are in the center allow me to manipulate just one letter. So I can actually take that letter and move it away. Don't forget you can always click undo to move the design, the letter back where you'd like it to be. Let's go ahead and put this text back into a straight line. I'm going to use my right click option and then do normal. Put it back in my straight line. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. Here's another way that you can put it into a circle. We're going to start with drawing an ellipse. So I'll come up here and choose my artwork tool. Click on this and choose ellipse. Ellipse is any kind of a circle. I just want to draw kind of a circle that goes around this. So just click and drag to draw it. If you wanted to do a more precise circle, I would hold my control key down while drawing that. This circle is a continuous line, but in order to do text on path, it has to not be a continuous line. So I need to split my design. So we'll select the shape tool. And you can see that my ellipse is now changing into being highlighted with this pink color. I want to right click, I'm going to do it right down here, and choose split line because I want to split this line apart right here. I will grab my node here and just pull it over to the side. I actually want to grab my red node. The green and red represent the start and end points. I want to take my green node and move it down a little bit, and I'm going to put my red node or sorry, my green node back up where it belongs. Sorry, that was my red node that I moved. So I've got a slight split between my line here, which is going to allow me to put my design on top of this. When transformed to text on path, the text will start at the green starting point. So it's gonna start right here. And it may need to be adjusted while you're working. Okay, next to put the design on this path, we're going to select the entire word and the ellipse. An easy way to do this is to come over here to our sequence view and just click on all items. You'll see that it selects everything. Next, we are going to want, we want to select the entire word and do a right click and choose text on path. And you'll see here that it just put my text on the path that I have created. 
I now have the ability to manipulate this. You can see that if I grab, for example, this little uh, diamond down here, I can actually make my text longer or shorter, depending on how I'm moving my cursor around. Let's make that a little bit longer. I can also grab this other black diamond here and do the same thing. So I can make it wider, follow more of the text or less of the text. So if I want it to wrap around like that, I can do that. The um, pink icon here, and I'm going to um, scroll out just a little bit so you can see that, that allows me to tilt it on its axis and play with it there. So that's three different ways to do text in a circle. I hope you have fun playing with this fun option.